Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Look who I'm here with, he's probably gonna scratch me. No, be nice, be nice, just for two seconds. It's King Chris, say hi to everyone. I've honestly never met such an unfriendly cat, although sometimes he can be really cuddly, but on days like today, he just wants to claw my arm off. Anyway, guys, some of you will know where I am. I'm at my parents. Do any of you remember when I used to sit here on my bed and film videos? I definitely filmed one of my handbag collection videos in this spot. I filmed many videos here through the lockdown, but I haven't properly been in this room like this for such a long time because it's been full of all of my clothes, all of my stuff. I bring loads of stuff back down from London, which my mum hates, but I bring it back down here because where I live is quite small and I put it in this room. So this room has been full to the brim. I think I did show you in a vlog, didn't I? But it's just been full to the brim with boxes, clothing rails, it's been crazy, but it's finally been organized. We've given so much stuff to charity. I've had my friends come around, they've taken loads of stuff. So the room is finally clear, which is really nice because when I come down to stay, it means I can stay in my old room with a bit more of like a peaceful feel to it, not it being very overwhelming and messy. The reason I'm back and my parents in Kent again is because I mentioned back in January that my friends and I, well lots of my friends and I, we're all turning 30 this year and there's almost a 30th birthday every month of this year, which is kind of crazy. So the first month of the year was my friend Chantel's 30th and this weekend is my friend Josh's and we're staying in a big house. It looks amazing. It's got a swimming pool. It just looks insane. So we're staying there Friday and Saturday night. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog, but I'm going to try my best. But because the house is kind of of sort of near where my parents live I came down last night because I'm taking a load of food from my parents restaurant and also doing the food shop I'm doing another grazing board guys I found myself a new job as a grazing board host do a thing so I just needed to be organized and that's why I'm here the night before but this is the first time as I already mentioned that I've been able to see my wardrobe area which I will show you now it looks like this I've got a big mirrored wardrobe along there it's the first time I've been able to see it and get into it in the best part of two years. Like that sounds like I'm exaggerating but because this room has been so full, I haven't been able to get in my wardrobes. And when I kind of like opened them up last night, there's not actually much left in there because a lot of it my mum has emptied. However, there's some really cute stuff in there that I found. So I just wanted to share it with you. And I also just want to show you my room because this was the room that I lived in the whole of my life up until when I moved out two years ago. As many of you know, I'm 30 this year. So I moved out when I was, it was like a couple of months before I was 28. So I moved out when I was 27. And I lived in this house, in this room for my whole life. Okay, here we have it. This is my room. It's only small. It's looking a little bit tired now. I probably did this room up when I was about 22. And yeah, I paid and had it all done up, had these wardrobes fitted, which I'll show you in a minute. But the wallpaper, God, I loved this so much, is Laura Ashley. My bed is also Laura Ashley. A lot of the accessories were Danelle. I mean, it's not really to my taste anymore, but back when I did it, I loved it so much. I mean, I still really love it. And it's such a tranquil and like peaceful space now there's not as many clothes in it. So I do really like it, but I remember at the time I was so proud of it. Do any of you remember, if you do remember this, then you're a real OG. I did a job with Machino fragrance and I got this giant bottle. It's actually not actually a real bottle, but it's like a kind of like a giant bottle of the Machino man's fragrance. Over in the corner here, I have a stack of Vogue magazines. And when are they from? Oh, they're all from the year of 2014. Oh my goodness. As I say, it's all still quite dusty and a bit of a mess because no one's really been in this room for the best part of two years. Chris clearly doesn't like me vlogging. Go on then, if you want to leave, off you go. Then the other side of my room is still full of loads of clothes, but this is barely anything compared to what was in here. Like this is like 10% of what was in this room. It was crazy. And there's my little TV and the plug socket hanging out the ceiling. Guys, my dad and my brother are both electricians. So why this plug socket is still hanging out the ceiling, I do not know. Over on this wall here, I don't know if I can move this rail. Yeah, actually I can, it's on, um, it's on wheels. But these are all pictures <laughs> of my friends and I. The top there is Chantelle and I in Ibiza. Here's my friend Sammy and Jesse and I in London. This is from the photo booth in Canterbury. If any of you like know about Canterbury, the ballroom. This is from the photo booth in that club. Down here, this was a Marbella trip, New Year's Eve. Oh, and this is my friend Abby and I. These photos are honestly so old. I remember I bought these frames from Poundland. They were white and then I sprayed them gold and then kind of scrubbed the sides to make them look antique. 
And they actually look quite good, but I loved this little photo wall that I did. And then this is the wardrobe area. So it's just a big glass mirror. I don't really know I'm giving you a room tour, but I just thought it was really cute when I looked in here last night. But in here, it's totally empty. So these are the same wardrobes that I have in London. They're a slightly different finish on the inside there, wood. But these are the Ikea Pax wardrobes. And they are so, so, so good. They're amazing quality. And I've had these for... I bet it is nearly pushing 10 years, or at least eight years anyway. But in here we have the box for my first ever YouTube camera, which was the G7X Mark II Canon. This is actually still a really good camera, by the way, guys. If any of you are wanting to start YouTube, this is a great vlogging camera. And then we have a pair of trainers. These were worn to death, the Balenciaga Triple S. And then over here I found my ballet shoes look at this little bag it's got a little ballerina stitched on it and here are a pair of my point shoes but they're not actually a pair i ever wore as a dancer if you found a pair of point shoes that you liked you'd often buy more than one pair of them because in my day it was really hard to find point shoes that kind of suited your feet i don't know if it's still the same now but it was when i was younger so these are a fresh pair they haven't even been broken in i don't know where my old ones are they might be in the loft these are also a fresh pair as well these are soft points so you're not actually meant to go up on your toes in these but these definitely were worn they're very very messy but these are hard point shoes where you can go on your toes in them maybe i should do it in a minute and then over here are just a pair of flat ballet shoes which i wore all of the time but these look quite fresh as well these are definitely ones from my adult ballet life because i'm pretty sure these will still fit me now yeah look they're a four and a half so they definitely will still fit me i have little tiny ones in the loft from when i was a baby and i think these are do you know what? I think these are jazz shoes. I thought that was really cute. And then I want to show you what's in that other wardrobe. So in here, we have got lots of boxes, but not full of designer stuff. They actually have nothing in them. But look at this jewellery tray, guys. Can we just take a moment for how much stuff is on this tray? It's all kind of like junky jewellery, but there is so much of it. I used to go to Topshop all of the time and just buy just so much stuff. Like, I remember I loved this necklace so much i wore it on so many holidays it would still look really nice now actually do you know what this isn't from topshop i think i got this from zara i mean look at this necklace as well this is also another zara number which very interesting but underneath here i've actually just found this i knew it was in here but i didn't know whereabouts it was is all of my links of london jewelry who remembers these bracelets they were called the friendship bracelets my first ever boyfriend bought me this and this was actually the only thing i ever got bought by a guy until i met my current boyfriend which was nine years later <laughs> how sweet was that he bought me this when he was at school but look how tarnished it is now i remember i loved it so much because it was the color of jack wills which at the time i absolutely used to bang jack wills <laughs> and then this here is a pandora bracelet which i bought with my first ever paycheck i've got to show you it properly so i have to tell you the story about this pandora bracelet because i feel like it's really meaningful but with my first ever paycheck so i reckon i was about 14 i was definitely still at school because i went with some of my school friends and we caught the train to london which felt like it was so far away. In those days, there wasn't a fast train, so it took about two and a half hours to get there. We were going on a shopping spree where we all had just been paid. Pretty much the first time, well, for me, it was the first time I'd ever had any proper money from working. So I remember we went to so many different shops, like JD Sport. I think I got myself a pair of Nike trainers. I remember we went to Primark, did a bit of a Primark shop, and then we went to Harrods. And I wanted to buy myself a Tiffany bracelet. Do you guys remember? I think they still sell them. The iconic Tiffany sterling silver bracelets. In fact, I have one. I have one just here, which I can show you guys. It looks like this with the Tiffany tag on the front there. At that point, I didn't own this bracelet. It was on my wish list. I have literally had a wish list since the age of 14, probably younger to be fair. But I'd saved up my money and this was what I wanted to buy. So I remember going into Harrods and going into Tiffany and they were so rude to me. Or was I trying to buy the necklace? I think I was maybe trying to buy the full necklace. I'm unsure, but they were so rude to me. And I remember nearly crying about it. They basically just didn't want to serve me, acted as if I had no money. I mean, I was only 14, but still, I did have the money. I'd saved my money. And I remember ringing my mum and I got really upset. And I said to her, like, you know, I went into Tiffany's and Harrods because I'd been there before with her and we'd bought something in the past. I actually think it was these little earrings, which I wore to absolute death. I got these for a birthday one year, which looked like this. These little Tiffany and Co stud earrings. I hope the camera is focusing. They're so tarnished. 
they need a good clean but i wore these all of the time so i'd been in there before with my mum. like we'd had really good service i called her and i was really upset and she said darling why don't you just go to selfridges instead so i remember my friends and i went to selfridges because there was a tiffany in there but by the time i'd got to selfridges for some reason i decided i didn't want tiffany anymore I wanted to buy myself a Pandora bracelet. So that is exactly what I did. I think actually what happened was I bought other things throughout the day and then realized I didn't have enough money for the Tiffany necklace. So I decided I'm gonna buy another thing on my wish list and it will be a Pandora bracelet. And this was it. So this was the first like big piece of jewelry or big thing I ever bought with my first ever paycheck. But how cute is that? I feel like I haven't seen this in years. At one point I had like a real arm stack because I had my Tiffany bracelet, so I used to wear a whole stack. I was a sterling silver girly at one point. And then I had my Lynx of London Sweetie bracelet, which guys, this was my pride and joy. And I had this stacked as well. I'm hoping some of you remember this bracelet because at one point, these were the biggest things ever. I'm actually, oh no, I think the elastic's just gone in it. No. I did think that would happen though, because obviously over time the elastic gets weak. But look at all of the charms on this bracelet. I don't know if you can be able to see it. Oh my God, no way. That did not just happen. Well, that was an absolute disaster. Look at the bracelet. I did always think to myself that surely one day the elastic is going to snap. And there we have it. It snapped. Why is all my jewelry so tarnished though when it's been inside a cupboard? I don't really understand. But these were all the charms that were on that bracelet before it snapped in half. Oh my god. Okay, so so we have a peace sign, because at one point I was so into peace signs. I still really like them, but I wanted a giant one tattooed on the back of my neck. My mum and dad said if I did it, they would kick me out of the house. However, I am glad that they were quite strict and I didn't get that done. And then over here, these are a tiny pair of ballet point shoes, but they ignore my nails, they need doing. How sweet is that? These were all bought for different occasions like birthdays and passing my driving test and things like that. Then I had these Tiffany bracelets, which this is one of the Onyx ones, which is quite funny because I used to wear an Onyx Tiffany bracelet years ago and now I wear an Onyx Van Cleef bracelet. I've always liked that stone. And I used to also wear this little Tiffany silver bracelet stacked with it as well. So my jewelry stack, even all those years ago, was still pretty good. I can't lie. I remember I even put a picture on my Instagram back in the day saying wrist candy or something really cringe like that. Yeah, this was my bracelet. I loved this so much. I wonder if this will all come back round. I really wanted to show you guys that. I didn't mean this to happen, but I wanted to show you guys it because I know you all love your jewellery as much as I do. And I've mentioned in many vlogs that I've always been into my jewellery. But over the years, we've gone from a sterling silver girly to an all gold girly. But I've always loved my wrist stack and nothing has changed there. Well, I left home very abruptly because I'm always running behind schedule and I have a huge food shop to do. I've just been to go and pick up all of the Mexican food from my family's restaurant. It's on the back seat, strapped in like a child because I was worried that the salsa and sour cream was gonna go all over the car. So that's in the back, but I'm parked outside Lidl. I'm gonna put my hair in my hood because it is actually raining and I'm gonna go and get all of the stuff for the grazing table and the breakfast like for every day that we're there. Why do I always get lumbered with this job? I don't know. I've done that thing again where all of these trolleys need you to have a pound. This one doesn't know. Can I really walk around with one with a baby seat when I don't have a baby? <laughs> oh, let me go and see if there's any around the front. All right, I had to go into the shops and get a pound to put into the trolley. Hopefully that works. And we're off. Littles, here we come. It's raining. But it's stunning, so there's gonna be a rainbow. I am halfway through the shop. So we have all of the meats, sausage rolls, breads. I've still got loads more to get. I'm actually gonna put a list on here of all the things you need for a grazing board because last time I got messages on my Instagram asking how I did it. It's so easy, guys. So I feel like this time I'll like film myself doing the grazing board. And the good thing about doing it in Lidl is the fact that everything is so much more affordable in here. Like, look at this. It's 95p. The car is absolutely rammed. And then in here, we have more food and all of the fajitas for tonight as well. Honestly, this is the last friend I'm doing this for, guys. <laughs> I have just arrived. Look at the size of this house. It is a mansion. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. And there's also a swimming pool, a hot tub, and a giant chess area. How cool is that? Good morning, everybody, guys. I'm sorry, I was the worst vlogger at the weekend of all time. I always do this when I'm with my friends. I end up having so much fun that 
I just forget about my camera. I did vlog a tiny bit from the weekend. So what I did is I went to Lidl, I bought all of the food for the grazing table, and then I drove to the house which was in East Sussex. I will put some videos in whatever I have. And it was so fun. So the first night we had a Mexican night. So I actually got fajitas from my family's restaurant. And then we drank margaritas and wore sombreros. And then on the next night, my friend Nicole, who has an events company, she's so good at designing kind of themes for your parties. And Josh had decided that his theme for his 30th was going to be RIP to his 20s, which was very extra. So we all dressed up as if we were going to a funeral, slightly weird, and we fake mourned the death of his 20s and then partied for his 30s. This is the setup for the party. So it says in love and memory. So my friend Nicole does events and when she said she was getting this made, they were all saying, oh, this is so sad, he's so young. But then actually it's obviously a joke because it's RIP to his 20s. He is still alive, which is great. Here is Abby. Oh, I'm loving it, Abby. Look, oh, she wants to show us the slit, the boots, I mean, love, sexy funeral attendee. Thank you. I need to go and get my sunglasses. <laughs> go and get them. And that was the day that we did the grazing table. Nicole helped me do it, and also my friend Holly, she did all of like, the cutting up. There was so much food, but most of it did get eaten. The great thing is with grazing tables is, number one, they're so easy to do. Number two, once you've put it out, people can pick at it pretty much all day. The food lasts ages as long as it's not too hot. And also what's so great about it is they're quite inexpensive, especially if you go and get all of the stuff from somewhere like Lidl. And that grazing table fed around 25 people and cost around £200, which I don't really think is that bad. Anyway, it was a great weekend and I feel like all of these parties and kind of weekends away we're all doing for our 30th is really softening the blow of the fact we're all 30. Name something better than a fresh, flawless, finished powder. That is so many Fs and such a mouthful, but name something better than a fresh powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the best ever. Anyway, I am now back in London, and if you haven't already noticed, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, I am just doing my makeup and trying to make myself look a tiny bit presentable because today I have a meeting, and as I'm going kind of near central, central-ish, I thought we would go shopping as well because... I feel like it's time to start the spring wardrobe. I already started a little bit with a Zara haul. But I want to go to Arquette, I want to go to Cos, I want to go to H&M. And I feel like as I'm that side of London, like I could go into Central where all of the good shops are. I can't lie guys, I'm feeling very stressed at the moment. And I feel like when I'm stressed, it really shows in my face. And also my mood as well. That's why I feel like I need to tell you guys how I'm feeling. By the way, if you're wondering why I have gym clothes on, it's because this morning I have already been at the house. Unfortunately, not to the gym, but I went and got my nails done at Townhouse. Of course I did. I got my signature French base is in the shade Dreamer. And then I got a little French tip and I've gone really short as well. But as I was saying, I feel really kind of stressed and I've got a lot going on at the moment behind the scenes. And I'm going to be able to talk to you about it at some point for sure, but it's really taken its toll on me. I feel really kind of stressed, drained, anxious. I feel like I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions and it all just feels like a lot. And today I just feel like the energy has been sucked out of me. So if I'm not my usual kind of really, really happy self, that's why I'm still happy. Everything's fine. I just feel, just feel a little bit stressed. By the way, do you know I showed you guys in a vlog just recently that Dior, still not over it, sent me these lip glosses. This one is my favourite shade. It looks like this. And this is one of the lip maximiser glosses in the shade 012. I'm going to put it on for you all and show you how nice it is. I wear a very nudie lip liner. All I have on right now is the lip liner. I'll link this all down below, by the way, so you know what shades I use. And then, over the top... I put this gloss and it matches perfectly and it's such a nice gloss as well because it's not tacky it's just really silky on your lips and it also plumps your lips a little bit as well which I love. I'm actually going to try a new mascara today as well because the mascara I usually use is this. This is blooming great. If you like a good mascara this is worth every penny. So this is from Hourglass and it is their unlocked mascara. It's so good. Something I always look for in a mascara is it having a rubber end. I hate when the brush is kind of bristly because I feel like it makes my eyelashes all flaky. I don't know if any of you guys find that. But one of my OG favourite mascaras ever is this. This is L'Oreal Telescopic. This takes me back to school. I have loved this mascara for so many years but the brush on it, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it's rubber and it's also really thin. But they have brought out a new and updated version, which is the Telescopic Lift. 
I've seen it all over TikTok, so I'm gonna give it a go. I feel a little bit nervous about it because I feel like trying a new mascara is a big deal. Like what happens if it gives me panda eyes? It's not gonna be cute. So looking at it, the brush of this one is a lot bigger than the brush on the original telescopic. Apparently it's meant to lift your eyelashes up a lot further. So I'm actually gonna heat my eyelash curlers up. I do this every day. If you've got metal eyelash curlers, do this with a hairdryer. It will change your life. <laughs> Just make sure they're not too hot before you put them on your eye. But this is basically like curling your eyelashes with a heated iron. I'm unsure how good it is for your eyelashes, but I do it every day and have done for years. So it can't be that bad. Anyway, I've taken some of the excess off the brush because I just felt there was too much um, mascara on the wand. Okay, now I feel like there's not enough. Okay, that was one coat on both eyes. I feel like it's pretty good. It definitely has lifted my eyelashes and it's not clumpy at all. And the brush is really nice to use. I have printed it all over my eyebrows. If you didn't already know this trick, I'm sure you do because I feel like everyone knows this trick. But use a spoolie brush. Ignore how dirty this is. But use a spoolie brush if you get your mascara anywhere other than your eyelashes. Because I always used to use a cotton wool bud. But then when you rub the cotton wool bud on your eye, it takes off your eye makeup. But this doesn't. Somehow it just gets rid of the mascara and doesn't leave any mess. I feel like that will have to do today. I need to do something to my hair. This is second day hair. It feels like third day hair though. I ran out of the dry shampoo I've been raving about, but a new bottle arrived today. So I'm gonna pop that in. I think I'm just gonna dice and air up the ends of my hair just to give it a bit of life. Very simple outfit. The main thing was I wanted to be warm because I don't know what's happened. I thought spring was on the way, but now suddenly the temperature has dropped to two degrees. So this is my outfit of the day. By the way, guys, I have not stopped wearing the Chanel bag since I got it, the Chanel 19. I'm so happy I purchased it. So my jumper is from Cos. My t-shirt is from, it's either Cos or Arquette. My duster coat is actually cashmere, but I got this years ago. I will link something similar down below. Then my jeans are from Very, but they are Levi 501s. These are the best style of jeans ever. So comfy, and I feel like they're really flattering as well. And then I think I'm just going to wear my Converse and that's it i feel like this is just gonna be a very simple look for today nothing too crazy for perfume what perfume should we do this perfume is new to me well i say no i've had it for about i think i got it just before christmas it's from initio am i saying that correctly under if i am but it's such an oud rich smell for me it's too strong for daytimes but for an evening scent it's so lovely i think today though i'm gonna do this this is joe malone scarlet poppy it looks like this and it is the most beautiful scent <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. I showed you barely any. Well, I didn't even show you any of the meeting I went to. It's so awkward though. Like, how do you film in a meeting? Like, I couldn't do it. But anyway, I'm now on Regent Street with many other people. It's very busy out today. Well, it's kind of rush hour time. And I'm just going to. Um, where am I going to? I'm going to Arquette. And I'm also going to go to Cos. And I'm also going to end other stories. Because I want to I wanna get some new stuff. First stop is Arquette. I'm doing a voiceover because the music in there was very loud. I'm going to get copyrighted if I don't turn it off. It was spring vibes. Lots of lovely things. There was also quite a lot of pastel colours going on in there, which was quite nice to see. See, we've got some purples, we've got some pinks. Of course, I opted for all of the neutrals, though. Also, the homeware in there. I didn't realise they did such beautiful homeware. These bowls, stunning. Love those. And wait until you see the Easter decorations because they were just beyond cute. I didn't buy anything for the home because, you know, my flat is bursting at the seams. But guys, look how cute these are. If you're doing an Easter tree, you need these on your tree. I also saw this ring, which I thought was quite cute, but my chubby fingers don't really look cute on it. I am in our kit changer rooms, the lighting. It's not the best, but I found some cute stuff. So I picked up a coat, probably not coat wear though. Well, it is today because it's freezing, but spring vibes. Once again, the music was too loud, but I love this coat on and these jeans. 
I bought I bought it all, but I'm gonna show you in a proper haul when I get home. I'm gonna try it on. And this skirt, once again, not doing it any justice here, but I've been on the hunt for a skirt like this for so long. The lighting in our kit was trash. However, I got a lot of stuff, guys. I've put it all on a rail and I'm gonna do a haul. I'm gonna have to do a big try and haul. This isn't all from Market. Most of it is, but there's a couple of bits from Zara and also a couple of bits from New Look. But my next video is going to be a big haul. Also, look what I came home to, which the note on the side made me tear up. It says, cheer up, love you. My boyfriend can be very cute. Good morning, everybody. I swear this vlog has been dragged out over so many days. And I don't even know what day I started it. I think it was actually In over a, a week ago. A anyway, this morning I've been to shoot some content because the sun is shining. And you guys know I love to shoot my outfits for Instagram when the sun is out. So I got some content, so that's made me feel better. And now I'm actually off to an eyelash appointment. I'm getting LVL lashes, I think that's what it's called. Basically when you have a lash lift. I had it done at Christmas and it's lasted. I got it done before Christmas actually, like half through December. I got it done at Fox and Vamp in London, which is in Chelsea. I've been there a couple of times. It lasted so well, it's only just worn off. But now it's worn off, I realized how much I loved having kind of, you know, eyelashes that were a little bit more curled because my eyelashes are so naturally straight. I always say I'm gonna take you along to my appointments and then I get there and I realize, sorry, how am I gonna film? I don't have a tripod. How can I film with my camera when my eyes are shut? Like it always seems like a great idea and then I get there and realize I can't film at all. So anyway guys, I've just got back from my eyelash appointment. They're not gonna look like amazing on camera right now, but look, if I get close, can you see? I guess to you guys the difference won't be that amazing because you always see me with curled eyelashes. So obviously I curl my lashes with a lash curler, then put on mascara. But in real life, the difference is crazy. By the way, my eyebrows, guys, I'm actually just about to dye them because I feel like when I get the LVL on my lashes and they become so dark and then my eyebrows are so light, it looks so weird. But I always dye my eyebrows at home and have done for years. I use, I think I checked the box away, but it's the Isla, you know, the at-home dye kit. It's so simple. I actually use the black one, even though my hair is obviously not black, but it fades really quickly. So I just think the darker the better to start with. But something she did today was map my eyebrows out because I am tempted to get my eyebrows microbladed. If any of you guys have had your eyebrows microbladed, comment down below or message me on Instagram with your experience because I've been debating getting this done for so many years and I've put it off because then I get scared. But my eyebrows, they're quite good. However, they don't look great right now, but they're just so patchy, like especially near the end. They're just not cute and I feel like microblading would really help them. But I only want to get it done if it's like the hair strokes. I don't want them to be too kind of thick and bulky, especially because with no makeup on, I've got really, really fair hair. And if they were too thick and bulky, I just feel like they'd look crazy. Uh, tell me your experience. Do you like having microblading? Do you rate it? I've got friends that kind of loved it and other friends that really don't rate it at all and regret ever having it done. I think it also really matters who you go to. Like that's a really, really big thing. But the lady I saw today, I think her name was Linda. She works at Fox and Vamp. She showed me some of her work. And as I say, she mapped my eyebrows out and she just made me feel really comfortable and the fact she's done such a good job of my eyelashes like I know it's totally different to getting your eyebrows microbladed but the fact she's done such a good job of these she just made me feel really comfortable I feel like getting it done is such a big deal because they last I think around two years and they take such a long time to fade and now I need to leave this on for about 10 minutes give or take I probably should have neatened it up around it but whatever so random but my hair Look at my roots, look how dark they are. I was hoping to leave my hair until my birthday, which is the end of April. I thought I'm not gonna bleach it, I'm gonna leave it to grow because I felt my hair had got really short. It wasn't damaged, I just kept cutting so much of it off and I really missed my long hair. So I thought, right, I'm gonna grow it until the end of April and then I'm gonna get it dyed, I'm gonna get a little bit cut and have a little zhuzh. However, we've got to the beginning of March and I just can't, I can't stand the roots anymore, guys. I just keep looking at myself in the mirror and I feel like when my hair grows out and it's not blonde anymore, I feel like so washed out and I feel so ugly. I can't lie. When my hair is not bright and blonde, I just feel like I do not look like myself. So today I text Harriet and I booked him for next week and I'm going to get my hair done. But I'm thinking I'm going to get it done next week, but I'm also going to get a little bit of a refresh before my birthday because I wanted it to look fresh for my party and for like my birthday. That was, that was the intentions in my head of leaving it. But yeah, the roots, they're not okay. 
Okay, the eyebrow dyeing went pretty well, I have to say. But can you see on my eyebrows, like how red my face goes when I touch it, but can you see all of these little patches? That's why I want to get them microbladed, just to fill in the patches of hair that are missing. I mean, I look so beautiful right now. Something about me on my vlogs, right? On Instagram, I look so kind of well put together. I only pose when it's bright outside and everything looks, you know, fresh and clean and... I just look like I am the most put together person. On YouTube, I've got a fake tan on my wrist. Everywhere around me is a mess. And I'm talking to you guys with um, eyebrow dye all over my eyebrows. But, you know, I feel like I've said this before, but YouTube is kind of like my safe space to be myself. You guys see the realest version of me. And I love you for that. By the way, my giveaway ends on Sunday. I'm hoping this video is going to go up tonight. This video has been going on for a long time. It should have gone up on Sunday, but... I don't know what happened this week. I think I mentioned this earlier on in the video, but I've got a lot going on at the moment. My brain feels like it's going to explode. Everything feels like it's at full capacity. I feel very anxious, very tense, and I just haven't been able to vlog. I've had nothing to show you guys. A lot of it has been phone calls and emails, and I've been trying to sort a lot out, a lot out. And I'm hoping everything, pray for me, just let's just do a little bit of praying for me right now i'm hoping that everything's going to come together i'm actually going to end this vlog here i'm not sure how long it's going to be and i feel like it's going to be very all over the place however i hope you enjoyed it as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know and i'll hopefully see you in my next video love you guys bye bye